Hey guys, I am here today with a little haul video. I have not filmed a haul this entire year of 2018, so I have some stuff I picked up in January, which isn't a whole lot, anything I picked up in February, and I did a tiny bit of shopping at Target this morning. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with the Target stuff because it's new. I have some, I just got something on my hand, something I hauled, I just noticed was leaking. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff at Target, but... I will show you the things I got because I think some of them might be worth going to the store for. So I went through the dollar bins, which are not really the dollar bins <laughs> anymore. Sorry, I have a little bit of a lingering call from the flu. And it had some Valentine's Day stuff and a little bit of Easter stuff. There was a lot of cute stuff, but I'm trying to not just get it because it's there. But I did find this wooden basket. It has these little cutouts and it has gold interweaved I guess yarn and they had some that were more of a tan color this was five dollars and I don't know what I'm going to do with it exactly but I thought it would be really cute either to set on my vanity to put some makeup in or I do have a little basket on my vanity that has like my skincare and hair care stuff so I may use that I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it but I know I will definitely have a purpose for it I just haven't figured that out yet. I do have this acrylic small setup on my vanity that I keep makeup in and I like it okay but I'm always wanting to get rid of it. So anyways I will use this somehow. And then I went over <coughs> to the clothing section but I did stop in the shoe section first and they have so many cute shoes right now. I just there's not any that I really want and I'm kind of waiting on a cartwheel you know offer. But I did get me two clothing items. Both items I got in a large because I like my shirts to be oversized. I would say I'm probably like, to, to be safe, I'm probably a medium in tops. I can wear some smalls, but I just like that oversized look more. So this is Fifth Sun brand. I just thought it was so cute. I love pizza. I mean... I'm the age of vanilla ice and it is super duper soft. Now it is one of those wider cut tanks so you definitely need to wear like a bralette or sports bra or something because your bra is going to show. But I really really liked this. Super soft. I thought it would be comfy in the summertime. So I got that and then this I got just I had to. When I show it to you you may get it you may not. <laughs> How cute. It is the vintage My Little Pony. Now this was in the PJ section so it is super duper soft. Um, I would definitely wear it like out as a real top. I need to try it on and see if it's going to fit or if I need to take it back because it may be too big. But it is, it just says My Little Pony in the shirt. Plus my older daughter is obsessed with it. She's having a My Little Pony birthday party so I thought I needed a shirt and it is so adorable. I could not resist that. And then I did get her a top, which she may get it in a basket. Um, she is obsessed with these LOL dolls and this shirt. That's a sticker. It glows in the dark. Oh, she's going to die. She has this one. I think its name is MC Swag. Maybe not. I don't know. And I can't remember if she has this one or not. I think she may. Ugh, I don't know. But anyways little girl section and I did get her a medium because it's just 100% cotton and I was worried it would shrink. So first off because I'm going from like January to mid-February there's I mean not a lot but I'm trying to remember the order. So I had a I don't think it was an Ulta 20% off I think I just placed a random order in January. I had picked up this set because a friend of mine had told me about it. It's the Bare Minerals Sheer Brilliance Complexion Duo and this it looks really pink but I've been using it as a bronzer and I love it and then this is the like illuminated mineral veil yeah illuminating mineral veil and it's just okay but this is amazing this little set at Ulta and Sephora is ten dollars that is a full size of the bronzer which retails for in the twenty dollar range and you get it for ten the value of this set is thirty nine dollars Truth be told, I like it so much I picked up two because apparently this bronzer is not readily available and I am obsessed with it. So I got two. And then I picked this up, which is kind of a random thing, but a 
Instagrammer I follow, she uses the It Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder Illumination. It's the one with like the pinky purple as her foundation every day. And so I picked it up just because I'm always kind of wanting to simplify my routine. You know, it's pretty simple. But anyways, so I picked this up just to try. I was like, I can return it if I don't like it. Ulta was five times, I mean, um, It Cosmetics was five times the points. I love it. I've worn it numerous times and it covers my skin amazingly. So I think I'm going to do actually like a get ready with me foundation routine with this soon. Um, I need to do it during Vera's morning nap time and a lot of times I have to get dressed before she lays down to go out. So I'm hoping I can film it next week. But I am very impressed with this. It is very nice coverage. So I did get that and then um, I think that's all from that first Ulta haul. Yeah. Okay. So then they had their beauty stills or deals through, I guess, January. And I picked up the Skin Iceland eye gels that I love so much because they were half off. So I did get the big size and I'm happy to have those again. And then they had a 20% off coupon they sent out at the end of January, I think. So I placed a small order for a few things that I knew I was going to need to restock and I wanted to take advantage of the 20% off. <laughs> Excuse me. So I got another waterproof mascara, which I didn't bring out to show you. It's just the Maybelline Full and Soft because I know I would be needing a waterproof mascara soon. And then I needed, I'm on the last little bits of my makeup remover. So I wanted to get something from Ulta to take advantage of the 20% off. So I got the Skin Laundry 3-in-1 Cleansing Oil. And there weren't any reviews I think on Ulta's website and I went to Sephora's website to look and the reviews were very like polarizing. People either really loved it or they hated it and I don't know I'm not trying to down people but I think a lot of people still don't understand how to use a cleansing oil because I'll see people comment you know or make comments about my skin's oily I can't use that I used it to wash my face and it didn't do anything and so I don't know if they're using it with water or what. But anyways, I've used it a few times and so far so good. I don't think it removed my waterproof mascara as great as some products do. Because after I washed my face, there was just like a little bit, you know, left over. But I just took like a micellar water and removed it and all was well. That was fine. But um, it has tea tree oil in it, which is to help prevent bracket breakouts. And a lot of the people on the comments they definitely did not like that they made a comment about how it smelled so terrible it definitely smells like tea tree oil but i mean it's it's gonna do the job i can't say right now it's like the best thing ever but it will work and then i had picked up let me go ahead and tell you this so anyways my order got lost in the mail and they had to reship it because i placed the order like january 29th and by February 10th, it had been just like lost. So they went ahead and reshipped it. So I got the reshipment and I had gotten the Too Faced Melted Latex Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in Peekaboo. Because I saw Lisa Lisa D1 talk about it in a video and it looked so good on her. I'm wearing it right now. So I picked it up. It was on sale for $10. And it's okay. I mean, it's... It's not like a liquid lipstick in the sense of the drying kind. It feels kind of like a lacquer, if that makes sense. So when you put it on, it's so pigmented that I feel like I have to, you know, blend it in and rub it in. It's not bad, but it's just not, like, amazing. So I returned it. Because, you know, I mean, I just didn't want it. Well, <laughs> randomly today, on February 15th, the order showed up again. So I have another one of the cleansing goals. Which is like, couldn't it have been something I just love so much? And another one of these. So obviously I'll keep this one. Um, and so I did put it on today. And it is pretty. It's not bad. $10 it's good. But I don't know. I returned the first one if that tells you anything. And then they had shipped the order separately. And I had also gotten this, which is leaking. It's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea in... Kapow, Koopa Kapow, Koopa Koopa, I don't know, body oil, because I had gone through one of the scrubs in this scent, and it smells delightful, and I think it's being discontinued, and I needed something to get me over the um, free shipping mark, 
and this was on sale so I decided to pick it up and I've used it a few times and I really like it. I really like to mix a body oil in with especially like a body lotion to just make it more moisturizing or put a little bit on and then put a little bit of lotion on to kind of sink it in. It's really nice. So I don't know why it is, um, I had it standing up in that back. I don't know why it's leaking. I hope it doesn't have a hole in it. So anyways, we'll see. And then lastly, I have two other items. I placed a small Sephora order for this Marc Jacobs Gloss in Skin Deep. It's kind of described as a taupe, like a pink taupe. If I didn't have this other one on, I would show you. It looks a little darker than it is, but I guess because it has that taupeness, it makes it more of a dark nude, but it's not so um, brown. A lot of the darker nudes are brown. So I do like that. And then I did order this little um, deluxe sample on eBay to try out the Bobbi Brown Taupe Eyeshadow Stick. Lisa SZ09 has worn this so many times in videos and she'll say that's all she's wearing on her eyes and it makes her blue eyes just stand out and pop so much. And I've worn this a few times and I like it. But if you want just kind of like an everyday natural matte color, I do think the Laura Mercier Camel Shadow Stick is, I think, I like it better. That's my personal preference. This one's just a, maybe if I had a deeper skin tone, I would think this was like a perfect everyday. But it's a little darker than I want for everyday. But it's, it's fine. And you can get things like this on eBay. I think I've paid $9. I just realized I have one more bag of stuff. I did go to Walmart to get some wax melts because I heard the spring wax melts were out. And I went and I don't know, I picked up a few, but I'm definitely more of like a bakery type scented person. And a lot of the spring and summer are just really fruity floral, so they aren't my you know personal favorites. But I will say this, this was a winter one that I fell in love with. It's the Cherry Chestnut Bread. And I had been kicking myself for not getting more. And I found two that was, <laughs> excuse me, all there was in the store. And they were marked down on clearance because it was a holiday thing. So I did pick those up. So I was really excited about that. And then the Sensationals Nutty Butter Cookie Bars. These, it's a weird scent. You smell a little bit of peanut butter, but you smell chocolate. So it kind of reminded me of the hot cocoa candle that I have that I like so much. So I did pick one of these up. I don't know how it's going to smell melting, so I only wanted to get one. And then the Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Bean Buttercream. It's just like the basic bakery vanilla, but it has like a spice note. So I thought I would get one of these to um, either burn by itself or mix, specifically with this next one. And it is the Mainstays Cherry Pie Wax Cubes. If you have never gotten the Mainstays brand, it's the Walmart brand, it is a lot smaller. It's like about half the price, but it is really small. I love cherry scents and I love cherry pie, but this one is, it's really intense on the cherry pie. So I thought it would be really good mix with this. I think it will be delightful. I have my little wax warmer um, lid in the freezer right now to pop out the other one. So I'm going to put this in. So by the time I upload this, I'll probably smell it. So I'll put it in the comments down below if it was good. So I did get those. And that is all I've picked up in the entire month of January and half of the month of February. So I think I'm doing okay. I'm definitely just trying to be, I'm just not as I don't know. It's like into buying stuff anymore. I'm trying to make better decisions and not just get a ton of stuff to for the sake of having it. And that's kind of what I feel like this was to me. Just, oh, it's on sale. It's pretty on somebody else. And I can't really say that there's anything in my radar right now. I don't have like an ongoing shopping cart anywhere. And now my Ulta uh, points, I'm almost at 2,000 points. So I'm saving those up to do like you know, a big haul. And my cart for that, like my imaginary cart, I'm waiting for a 20% off sale. I just kind of want to get like some skincare type things. I want to get some of the Peter Thomas Rolfe gold eye gels. I want to get the First Day Beauty 5-in-1 bouncy mask and probably my Lancome stick foundation. And that's probably going to eat up all my um, points right there. 
but that's just kind of the things I want to get and I'm trying to also get more I've, I have like some a decent amount of green beauty skincare type products I use but I really want to get more into the makeup side this year so that kind of halts a lot of my Sephora and Ulta shopping on that and I'm I'm really trying to find a good foundation in the green beauty um, world. I did test out the Will, Will People Stick Foundation, and this has just turned into like a chatty video. <laughs> but um, so, anyways, that's kind of where I am right now. Just like replenishing things I need and trying a few things here and there. So that is all for this video. I um, I'll try to link the um, Target charts at the very least in case you want to find those. And you know, so anyways, that's all. I'll let you guys go. Bye.